Uh, good afternoon. It's uh, Friday the 15th of May. Um, I'm sure you've seen in the news and you have had uh, some messages from us uh, around the proposed opening or uh, to more children uh, on the 1st of June. Up to date, we have been open for um, children of key workers and have been taking up to about 30 children uh, some days. You'll be getting a letter or may have received a letter, but I just wanted to uh, clarify some of it uh, or just to give you a bit of a heads up. So uh, within that letter, uh, we are making it very clear to parents of children reception one and six, uh, and then in a separate letter will be a letter to parents of nursery children, that we are drawing up our current plans in line with the government guidance. So children will be educated in a class of up to 15, but we will be um, trying to get to two metres social distancing where possible, but it won't be possible at all times. Um, adults will work with the same group of children for all lessons, so they'll be in bubbles. Um, so therefore, your child uh, will be taught in the same group each day, will not mix with other groups. So we can't guarantee they'll always be within all of their friends, or they will be with all of their friends. Um, they'll have their break times with that bubble um, and the groups won't mix uh, at break times. Um, the uh, adult um, may well therefore not be the um, normal class teacher. Um, what we're also doing in terms of uh, mitigating uh, the risks um, uh, at this time is children will enter around the outside of the school uh, from the external doors um, and again may not well may well not be their classroom uh, children will um, really be asked not to bring many items in from home no pencil cases toys and things like that parents will hand over their child on the playground in a very managed way uh, and i'm afraid at the moment we won't be uh, allowing um, parents to enter into the uh, school building including the office uh, area um, we'll ask that only one parent or carer bring their child to school uh, and observe social distancing both outside uh, the school grounds and on the school grounds. So therefore our communication with staff will be email and phone. Um, and again, you know, I would stress that we are already uh, working with key worker children and maintain the highest levels of cleaning, hand washing, infection control systems. Um, and we will maintain that uh, during this. If you uh, are a parent of a child in nursery, uh, you'll be getting a letter that largely states the same, uh, although at the moment uh, we are currently planning for the children not to be taught in the nursery building because that's where the food larder and the food bank will be moved to because that is such an important thing that we're uh, working with the community on. Um, if you are a parent in years two, three, four and five, uh, you will be getting a letter um, just to establish uh, as um, more businesses going back to work um, whether those people who were deemed as key workers by the Prime Minister very early on in all of this, almost two months ago, whether any of those families now require childcare. I cannot thank you enough for uh, your support through all of this. Um, we know it's difficult. Um, we are parents, we are um, uh, living with people who are um, affected uh, in different ways uh, for their businesses or their work. And, you know, during all of this, what we are really trying to do is to support our community. Um, so what we would ask is when you get the letter, read it through, uh, and then please complete the online survey by Monday the 18th, 5pm um, I think is our cut off. You can do that, that will really help us plan everything and then we'll get more information out to you. Um, and then, as I said in the previous letter, I, I'm trying to avoid sending you lots of information, uh, only get making contact when we actually have the real information for you. So again, uh, stay safe and um, if you have any concerns or queries, there are uh, there is a box I think uh, for you to fill in. If not, please just email uh, or ring into the school. Thanks very much.